Okay, here's this laptop, it has Windows 10 on it and let's see how to boot into safe mode using a USB flash drive. The USB flash drive was made bootable and the laptop is using the legacy mode, not UFI and this was made bootable using the legacy mode also, so both of them are legacy, not UFI. Okay, so to boot into safe mode First insert the USB flash drive into a USB port, then power on the laptop and I will boot with F12 from that USB flash drive, preparing one time boot menu, I'm pressing F12, okay and I can boot from the USB storage in the legacy mode and from the same USB flash drive in UFI mode, so I will use this one in legacy mode and press enter it's booting from the flash drive now come here to next and repair your computer go here to troubleshoot advanced options command prompt here on the right side okay and type in here bcd edit slash set default close the bracket save boot and minimal so bcd edit set default save boot minimal and press enter operation completed successfully now you can remove the usb flash drive and power off the laptop now it will always boot in safe mode, we will disable that later. Now power it back again and Windows should start in safe mode. Enter your password, no internet connection, ok just close that one. And now we have in the corners safe mode, safe mode, safe mode and safe mode. Ok, if we restart the computer, it will be in safe mode once again, so it will always load in safe mode. Safe mode. Ok, to remove it from safe mode, come here, type in msconfig, msconfig, system configuration, Go here to the boot tab and the first windows is selected and uncheck this safe boot and close it with OK. And next time if you restart your computer it will not start in safe mode. Now even the wallpaper is different and there is no safe mode anywhere mentioned.